Hey, I'm Bertana B. And today, Vikings. Every year in June, the Icelandic Viking reenactment group Rimmugigur, 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 they set up camp in Hafnafjörður for a whole week and people can come there to buy stuff and make things and do things like they used to be done in the Viking era. We went there a couple of times and my husband told me that I should sew something for us to go there next year. I'm gonna give him pants for his birthday that he can and will wear to the next Viking Hautis. My gift is actually in two parts and both parts are related to Vikings. The other one is also gonna be a video. If you're interested in seeing that, even though you don't know what it is, uh, feel free to subscribe. I, I promise it's gonna be interesting, um, whichever way it turns out. <laughs> this time I'm gonna make pants. I'm gonna make those Viking kind of like culotte pants. I'm not gonna go completely historically accurate. So that means I'm gonna put a little bit of elastic in the waist uh, just so I can wear it, he can wear it, and it will still fit kind of both of us. Let's say I'm a little bit more bootylicious if you get what I mean. I know it's kind of a cop out to give someone pants that you can also wear, but I I'm just thinking ahead. Like if he doesn't want to use them, I can make him another pair and I can use him. And I don't wanna force it upon him to have to wear something that I make. <laughs> I have this fabric. I think I should just start. Hello, hello, hi, hi, hi. Yes, I'm taking over in voiceover. Let's start with making these pockets so we have that out of the way. Here is our main fabric. Mm. And the calf bindings measuring. Mm, more measuring little bit more measuring and we're good we just got a new bunny and they are adjusting to each other they go on small adventures together like here they're on the couch this is the length and movability I'll be cutting these in two Perfect. Oh my god, they're so cute. I can't. Time to start sewing pockets. Let's start with them. Gotta press them. And press them. And you gotta press all of them. Gotta pin the pockets, sew the pockets. Press the pockets again, and we're happy with the pockets. Now we take a pizza break. I'm a little bit afraid that this chunky boy will end up crushing Georg completely. But I mean, he doesn't seem to mind. We are at a very good stage with these pants currently. I searched them off camera. I know the Vikings did not have sergers. Uh, they didn't even have sewing machines. But this is, like I said, not historically accurate. I just made sure when I was pressing both of them that I had them facing separate ways. So I would have, this is the right side. This is going this way. And that's the left pant leg. With the direction of the pants in mind, I now have to do the crotch and butt, I don't know, cuttings. So you can actually wear this and move around. I have been fussing a lot over the measurements. I looked up some videos. I based it on these pants that I made before, the, the cool lots. This is the only fabric that I have, so I'm a little bit scared of cutting it, but still not too scared because I'm a big girl. If you get anxious cutting your fabrics, just let me take care of it. It's fine. The only kind of conclusion that I came down to uh, for me is that both of the crotch stitches and at the same point on the leg. Wait, then this is gonna be... Mm. I done goofed! Good thing I realized this. So what has happened here is... Is that I get into a really convoluted explanation of what just happened. To put it basically, 
the inseam of the pant leg has to be the same length. What I had done there was that I thought because of my big butt, the back half of it had to be like lower down or something like to accommodate for butt cheeks. But it doesn't have to be. The inseam has to be the same length on all front or back <laughs> pieces. And you can just take it in a little bit to accommodate for some butt space. Um, that's the basic gist of it. Uh, I just explained it super badly. Okay, let's get back to it. It's fine. It's just, it's just fabric. So cutting all the way down. These are kind of my measurements. I have a very big butt, so I couldn't really tell you how to do it for yourself. Other than whatever you do, just make sure the crotches line up. Here's some pin pleats to see how it will end up looking. I'm just pinning the crotch and here you can see which one is front and which one is back. And here you can even better see which one is front and which one is back. So I deepened the cut on the crotch to make it longer and these are my big old pants. I have pleated the whole thing. This took me a while. And I decided to make the pleats go backwards. And I tried to hide the pockets within pleats as well. We will see how that looks better whenever I have someone wearing this. I'm gonna finish the waistband and the cuff on the bottom here uh, off camera. And then I am going to give this to my husband. If he doesn't want to model them, I most certainly will. So we can uh, get to it. I am extremely happy with how these pants turned out. I love the color of the fabric with the pleats. This is my first time making a elastic uh, waistband. And as you can see, it's not really elastic enough. I think it's slightly tight over the buttocks. But all in all, I really think this was a success with pants made from really no pattern of sorts is mainly just well it was a pattern just me checking in real quick again the thing is i did have a pattern uh it wasn't really like a standard pattern uh, because i asked on a on a group for a pattern for pants like these someone drew me here's page one here's page two you can put in your own measurements and make these pants but it wasn't a pattern per se but i'm happy that i had this because otherwise I would have not known what to do basically. I found wool binding it's like a bias binding that I just ironed out and I used it as the binding for the calves. He did not want to model the pants popless as all the male models on Etsy. Look up Viking pants on Etsy and I assure you most of the male models modeling pants like these are topless. I don't know why but my husband did not want to go topless, but he did give me a good booty shake, which I will play back here. This is just the first piece in a whole ensemble for the Viking Festival next year. So I think this is a good place to start and we can take it from here. I'm very happy with how this turned out and uh, please let me know if you decide to make your own Viking pants. You can show them to me on my Instagram by tagging or messaging me. Or you can comment down below and tell me how did it go, because I'd love to know. Otherwise, I really do hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.